What is going on guys? Welcome to Greg Ellis TV Daily. Let's get into the tech news. We've got a very, very exciting leaked video. Now, Ben Geskin was the one that ended up getting this. It is a video on the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip, you know, the foldable Galaxy phone that's gonna be announced on February 11th at Unpacked and potentially be released as early as February 14th, which is mere days away now from the right now of making this video and let's check it out so this video as you can see is him opening or i don't know if it's him or somebody else but opening the phone you end up hearing the click you can see some things as well so some of the things that i noticed obviously is the beautiful purple color of this phone which is one of the rumored colors that will come out and obviously it's not a rumor because you can actually see the purple on this phone the click is very, very satisfying and loud. Um, we do see the little one inch display on the outside of the phone, which shows the time and the date. There's no notifications, but it should show notifications from what we've been told. Also, what you can see is that beautiful 6.7 inch display. Now you can see a crease on the phone when I stop, when you watch the video, see it more, but I stopped the video at this point showing you that you can see the crease in the middle of the phone where the phone collapses. Other than that, you don't see a whole hell of a lot about this phone. What, what I take from this and, and the feeling I'm getting from this phone is, do I really want to, every time I really want to fully, truly use this phone, have to flip it open and use it? I don't know, I mean, I'm interested to even just try it, but at the same time, I think that was one of the beauty, beautiful things about the Galaxy Fold One phone was that you could use it in its small state and watch videos and do basically everything that you want on the phone, or you can make it really large and see a much larger screen. This one, you really can't do anything unless you fully open the phone. So at that point, is it that big of a deal? It almost feels like I'd probably end up using my phone less, which maybe is a good thing socially and and to not be you know so attached to your phone. But I don't know. I think it's going to be a thing that me personally would get a little bit annoyed to have to be like, I got to open my damn phone again. It's not, I can't just double tap it or press a button real quick to see it. I have to physically open the phone. So that's my question out to you guys. If you're, you know, is it, if you're buying this phone or not, your question of the day is, would that annoy you that you would have to physically open the phone to literally every time use this phone? You can't, you can see information, you know, notifications and the time on that little one inch display on the outside, but you can't really use it. Let me know if it would annoy you to have to always open the phone physically. That's your question. Thanks for watching. Uh, also, follow Ben Geskin. If you're on Twitter, follow him. If you're on tw uh, YouTube, he also has a, a YouTube channel I just saw as well. He's got about 2,000 subscribers. Looks like he just started his channel, so go over there and subscribe. Uh, and uh, there you guys go. See you guys down the road. Peace.